a dazzling visitor from deepest space. The approach of comet Ison has been avidly watched by astronomers. But now this huge ball of ice and rock is entering the solar danger zone. This comet has been on an epic journey. It began at the very edge of our solar system and has been hurtling towards us at more than a million kilometres an hour, passing the planets, including our own. Now it's looping around the sun, but will it survive? Ison might follow the path of another comet called Lovejoy. In 2011, as it raced towards the sun, the intense gravitational field and fierce heat ripped it apart. But Ison's large size could protect it. The heat could ignite the dust and gas in its core, allowing it to blaze a trail across the night skies. It would be visible in the northern hemisphere in early December. At the optimistic end, it's visible to the naked eye that if you get a pair of binoculars, you can see both the comet's head, the coma, and a nice long tail coming from that. That would be a really good comet. It'll be a comet if it's like that that you have to get up early in the morning to see, but nonetheless, it would be a, a pretty good one by the standards of these things. This close encounter is a chance to study one of the oldest objects in our solar system up close, and space telescopes are trained on the comet. But these recent NASA images suggest ISON is buckling under the heat. Stargazers will have to wait to find out if it lives up to its billing as the comet of the century. Rebecca Morrell, BBC News.